Josh Howey. Josh, do you even know who Jurgen Klopp and Matt Letizia are? <laughs> no, but I know the story. So there's a bloke and he's yeah. called Jurgen Klopp. Yep. Um, I think he's pro-COVID. Yeah. No, no pro-vaccine. Pro-COVID. Pro-vaccine. Yeah. <laughs> there's a, there's <laughs> a guy called Letizia. Yeah. Um, and I, is, he, uh, is he also football? He was a great player. He's a football guy as well. And uh, so I don't know what's going on. One go- of the greatest artists ever to have played the game. Thank you. OK, well, I'll take your word for it. Uh, but I got distracted with this article because this is just one of the worst articles I've ever read in The Independent. It's yeah. unbelievable. The, the sport was always going to be a battleground in the philosophical conflict that is dividing the country. I mean, it's just like pages of this. I know. If you were to give, like, a, a young media graduate oh. lessons in how to smear your ideological It's opponent. unbelievable. I mean, and this, the conflation of the stuff about whether you're pro-vaccine, then bringing in the whole, like, the Marcus Rashford, like, basically essentially saying that if you're anti-vaccine, then you also want kids to starve. And yeah. you also think that racism's good. And yeah. just all bringing this all together is thing, absolutely ridiculous. And it's good that Jurgen Klopp is using his position as Liverpool manager, but it's an abuse no, of, I read of it, yes. Matt <laughs> Letizia's Twitter feed <laughs> yeah. that, he, that he does the same as his position. So, yeah, it's, it's really... Look, Klopp, he lost his mum, and so he's saying, yeah, people get the vaccine, and mm-hmm. that's fine, that's what... That's you know, a, but that, you could have that thing to Absolutely, think. but this whole article is just made me angrier and angrier through it as I got it. Well... But what is, about you? Well, football and anti-vaxxers, this is absolutely in my hit zone, so I'm gonna, I've got a lot to say about Klopp. Right, Klopp... And you he, know who Klopp is, yeah? Of course I know who Klopp is. Klopp, I respect Klopp, I'm a Man United fan, but I did respect him until now. That's he, a football team, yeah? He claims, to be, he claims to be a Christian, but he's one of these people that says the, the vaccine... <laughs> You're a Christian, should, yeah? should mandate vaccine. <laughs> I'm just going to ignore him now. He's on the... Because it's, it's bad TV. He's on these people that says you should mandate vaccines. Which, He's already laughing so much. <laughs> which is very sort of German of him, quite authoritarian. And, uh, and three Liverpool players have tested positive anyway, right? So he's very big on all his team getting the vaccine. Yeah. But I think players are... It's quite reasonable for players to be concerned. They're young. They probably don't need it, possibly. They've seen pl- footballers collapsing with who knows what. Maybe they're just worried about... Is, is that related? I'm not saying it is for off-com reasons, but I'm asking they might be worried... Mm. But, but you Klopp, said before that it was definitely because of I that. Didn't. Klopp and, said, you know, I watched the Letizia interview, by the way, and all Letizia asked for was an inquiry. Well, that's he what I asked for the night before on this show. And you didn't but, get the credit. Well, I didn't get Tell the clip. Me, you didn't get the credit. I didn't get the clip. He got, well, had the viral clip instead of me. But the point is, and he is also a genius ex football, like you say. The point is, it's completely reasonable that footballers have the right to choose. Klopp thinks it isn't, but his players are getting pos- test positive anyway, even with the vaccine they've presumably had. And the, um, my favourite part of the article. This ridiculous attempt to smear Letizia. OK, you don't agree with his views, but he's clearly, like you say, one of the greatest football geniuses we've ever seen in England. But this guy, Tony Evans, who's written the article, says um, he starts going at Letizia's international career and he says his lack of movement made life easy for top-class defenders. So what a ridiculous... One, you've gone with the ridiculous ad hominem to attack someone instead of listening to their views. And two, you've gone with Letizia was rubbish at football when he's one of the greatest footballers yeah. we've ever had. And he was I mean, never given a proper run in the England team. I'd like to see Tony Evans's movement in front of goal. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> there you go.